Step 1. Syncopated octaves. Set up one bar of 4-4 with your grid on 16th notes and your tempo at 110 BPM. You're going to start by using only one note and the octave of that note. We're using A in our example. So draw in every 16th note on the low A. Now play around with moving a handful of them one octave up. These high notes will make accents in your bass line. So you want them to create a cool rhythm all on their own. And one of the best ways to do that is to syncopate most of them. In other words, most of them will not be on the main beats. All that syncopation adds tons of energy. Step 2. High line. Your bass line actually consists of two lines now, a high line and a low line. So in this step you're going to add a melodic element to your high line. A great note to start on is the flat 3, which is C in our example, as it's super strong and moody. And by the way, if these flats and numbers confuse you, no problem, just read hack 8 in our free book. Right, so what other notes should you use in your high line? Well, as we're writing a heavy bass line, you want to crank up the dissonance. So throw in a flat 2 somewhere, which is B flat in our example. And if you use the flat 3 and the flat 2, then you could also use the 2, which is the note in between. And feel free to repeat notes. In our example, we played the flat 3 twice, the 2 twice, and the flat 2 once. And a shout out to Local Legends Frontline Assembly, as this lesson is based on the song Purge from their 2021 album Mechanical Soul. And just before we jump into the next step, if there's an artist you want us to hack, drop us a comment. Also, are you new to music theory or are you experienced but you want a refresher? Then download our free book. It only takes 30 minutes to read, then you'll have a solid theory foundation that you can instantly apply to your songwriting and producing. You can get the free book at hackmusictheory.com. Step 3. Low line. So as you could hear, the bass line is already sounding good. And to be honest, most producers would think it's now complete, but not frontline assembly. No, they've got one more trick up their sleeves and that's the dissonance they add to their low line. Most of their low line remains on the root note. However, they've moved a few notes down one semitone to the seven, which is G sharp in our example. Also at the very end, you could throw in a flat three for a little variation. This makes the bass line loop more smoothly as well. Adding this dissonance to your low line is a game changer as it's super subtle. Seriously, most people won't even notice it, but it adds a feeling of heaviness that you simply can't achieve without it. <laughs> 